was an emotional reunion in a Tehran hotel between three mothers and their adult children in prison since July on spying charges. Sarah Shord and the other Americans maintain they accidentally crossed into Iran while hiking in Iraqi Kurdistan. We thought we would be here a matter of days and it's been nine and a half months. You know, my wildest dream, I never thought I would still be in prison. Just back from their journey, Cindy Hickey and Lauren Fatal thank the Iranian authorities for allowing the trip, where Hickey learned of her son Shane Bauer's engagement to Shord. She says Bauer made two rings from shirt threads and proposed in the prison yard. They sat on the floor next to us, grabbed our hands, and announced that they that Shane proposed to Sarah um, in January, and they're very excited about it, and of course asked our permission for this to happen, and Nora and I are very excited about this. I love Sarah very much. She's a wonderful human being. Short and Bauer plan to marry once they are freed, and they've asked Josh Fatal, the other jailed American, to be the best man. But Iran has not announced any plans for their release. These three individuals entered our borders illegally. They have confessed to that. Analysts in both countries say the case is hopelessly intertwined with overall bad relations between the U.S. and Iran over that country's nuclear program. The mother stressed the humanitarian nature of their mission. They expressed sympathy when meeting with the mothers of Iranians formerly jailed by U.S. forces in Iraq, who said their children had not been treated nearly as well. We really feel very sympathetic for any Iranian prisoners that are being kept in the United States. Uh, we talk about this constantly, uh, but again, we, we're not politicians. We don't have the power to change this. We wish we did. The American mothers have repeatedly asked Iranian authorities to free their children on humanitarian grounds, but ultimately they returned without them. Knowing we're traveling halfway around the world and knowing we're leaving our kids in an Iranian prison, this was a devastating, terrible moment. And we can only hope, and we do hope, that we will be reunited with Josh, Shane, and Sarah very, very soon. Laurel Boom and VOA News, Washington.